Joining me right now, Gilberto Salinas. He is the Brownsville Economic Development, or he's with the Brownsville Economic Development Council. Gilberto, welcome to Houston's Morning News. Great to have you with us. All right, we're talking about the new launch pad, uh, possibly in Brownsville. SpaceX considering that. They've done an environmental study, so it's a, it's a long way off, but it's got to be pretty exciting for you. It's a long way off, yes. There's, uh, we've been working this project for a little over a year. Uh, there's been a lot of work that's been involved with this one. There's been uh, quite a few sleepless nights, actually, uh, but nonetheless, extremely exciting. And there's still we're still several years away from actually if the project is to happen here in South Texas and the Brownsville area. Uh, we, we, you know, several years away from seeing the first uh, rocket launch from our area. Uh, you know, the funny thing is that 50 years ago, uh, way back when, when NASA was looking for a site for what what is now Cape Canaveral. Brownsville was one of the, the top sites that they were looking at. Brownsville actually was uh, one of uh, ten sites that they were looking at, and they narrowed it down to another five, and we're still in the run. And, of course, I wasn't around then. But, right. Uh, from N- our, nor was I. Well, I was, but I was uh, very small. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but from our due diligence, we found that uh, Brownsville, Texas, was actually a pretty interesting site for them. Of course, we all know that... Uh, uh, you know, Houston has uh, the uh, Johnson Space Center. Well, now, that, Gilberto, now, uh, that's, uh, that's what I was going to ask you about. Are you trying to give Space City, Houston, a run for its money? Because if you are, sir, um, you will not win this fight, I'm telling you right now. Oh, we're not going to mess with Houston. Houston is Houston. <laughs> now, but uh, I will say that because Houston is Houston and San Antonio also has an emerging aerospace industry and this company already has a research and test facility and in the Waco area, it has positioned Brownsville. It has made Brownsville, Texas, like an extremely attractive option for them. Well, now listen. Uh, in relation to your uh, to where you are uh, geographically to the equator, uh, that is uh, very good as far as uh, launching rockets. It would certainly be good for the state of Texas. I mean, let's be honest. If we if we have more people, uh, something like this would certainly draw more people to the Brownsville area. There would be uh, commercial development, hotels, and uh, neighborhoods would go up. I assume. You sound like an economic developer. Yeah, that's what I, you know, I mean, any <laughs> anything I can do to help you, Gilberto, yeah, that's what I'm uh, here to do. We're, I think in Cape Canaveral, they attract upward of 40,000 visitors per launch. Uh, we probably wouldn't get 40,000. I think we'd get closer to 10,000. But nonetheless, 10,000 visitors, you know, they're staying here for, like, so let's say, a long weekend. That's a huge boon to our economy. But not only that, the jobs, we're we're talking about several hundred jobs uh, uh, paying uh, uh, very good salaries. I think uh, we've done uh, run the numbers, and it would, between direct, indirect, and induced jobs, it would decrease our unemployment rate by 1%. So when a project, uh, one project alone can do that to your region, to your community, it's what we call in our industry a game changer. No question about it. Well, Gilberto, uh, we wish you the very best. We'll keep in contact with you over the course of the next couple of years. And uh, maybe we'll uh, be doing a live show uh, from the very first launch there in Brownsville. Who knows? Could be. Could be. We might be mini Space City USA. Nothing wrong with that, Gilberto. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that at all. Hey, thanks so much for joining us. Thanks.